Hi, I'm Chris Thompson for Investor Intel, and today I'm with Claudia Tornquist, who is the president and CEO of Kodiak Copper, which trades on the TSX Venture Exchange with the ticker KDK. How are you today, Claudia? I'm doing very well. Thanks for having me. It's great to be here, Chris. So you are, are, are um, the president of uh, Kodiak Copper, um, but I, I think that it, it, for this time, you know, we can just take a little bit of the discussion about the chairman because the chairman has been recently in the news with another uh, sister company of yours, uh, Great Bear. So why don't you talk a little bit about Chris Taylor uh, and, that, and that opportunity and, and how it ties together with Kodiak? Yes, that's, of course, big news. Um, Great Bear, our sister company, received a takeover offer from Kinross for $1.8 billion. Fantastic success for Chris, who started both um, Kodiak and Great Bear. And it's interesting the way he made a success of, of Great Bear is in a way very similar to um, what he did for Kodiak. He took a project that lots of people had looked at, didn't see anything in it, the Dixie project in, in Great Bear's case, and he interpreted it in a different way and uh, made it obviously a fantastic success. And Kodiak is a little bit of a similar story. Again, um, Chris is our technical lead and he was the one originally who um, liked the MPD project, Southern British Columbia, where we made our discovery. It was a project that had been explored since the 60s. Nobody was able to crack it. And Chris looked at it, took a different approach. And yeah, we made a discovery right in our maiden drill program. So it just brings it home how um, important it is to back the right team. And Chris certainly um, is a fantastic geologist, very much out of the box thinking. And that's what makes a good opportunity, a good geologist, someone who sees an opportunity where other people don't. And this shirt you're talking about is the MPD project, is a copper gold project, uh, what they would call a, a porphyry project in, in British Columbia. Um, and you had a fairly uh, big drill season uh, this year um, with some recently released uh, drill results. Maybe you could just talk about uh, what the program was uh, for 2021 and, and your recent drill results. Yes, we certainly have a, had a big year of drilling in total, drills just under. 22,000 meters to follow up on our high grade discovery that we made in 2020. It was a very successful drill program. We intersected the high grade zone at, it's called gate um, on MPD um, multiple times. And at every stage, whenever we released results throughout the year, we're able to grow the zone and show more mineralization. When we started the year, we had a strike length over which we had drilled mineralization of only 125 or so meters, so quite small. Now we have almost a kilometer of mineralization drilled. So the gate zone has grown substantially. We're starting to see some real nice size. And obviously, still lots more to come. We haven't um, completed the drilling by no means. Um, <laughs> we will be drilling more at gate um, next year and also other targets on the property. So uh, just talking about your recent drill results, uh, you know, copper porphyries are fairly large systems. You had a, a fairly uh, good intercept. It was 126 meters uh, with some high grade copper gold. Maybe you can just discuss that. Yes, that's the last um, set of results we released. Um, the best hole was 126 meters of 0.87% copper equivalent within a much longer intercept of 537 meters of 0.45% copper equivalent. That's quite typical for a porphyry where you have a high grade center or centers within a much larger lower grade envelope. And just to put our grades into perspective, a good comparable is the mine next door, Copper Mountain, large porphyry mine. Their grades, the material they mine uh, is 0.23% copper with 0.1 gram gold. So in comparison, our grades are significantly higher in the high grade zone, what we've built there. And that obviously bodes well and is very promising. 
And uh, looking to, uh, forward to next year, uh, how is the, the bank account and, and, and what are your plans uh, with the money you would have uh, for the next season? Well, we have a big drill program planned for next year as well, aiming for 25,000 meters, not only at gate, but also other targets, alert and man and axe and potentially others. So lots on the cards for next year. Our treasury is at this point $9 million. So we're well funded and under no pressure to finance, which is of course a great situation to be in. Well, that seems very exciting. And I guess it all plays into, uh, you know, the copper itself as a commodity. We've seen a, a good run in the last year with copper. And I think as we move towards more electrification of the grid, uh, copper will be important. What, what are your thoughts on the copper market? I think you put it well, the electrification, net zero, that's the real drivers of copper demand for many years to come. And um, I just read a statistic, 80% of the world economy is now under a net zero um, emissions target. So a lot of change will happen. A lot of electric vehicles will be built, solar, wind energy, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And all those technologies, all those enabling technologies are very copper intensive. So there's a lot of copper demand on the horizon and more copper will need to be found and more mines will need to be built. And that's what our business is. Well, that's great. I think that that's it for today. Um, I think I think that you have some uh, good potential there with your current drill results uh, really bode well uh, for the project. Uh, and we look forward to uh, following it over the next uh, few months and speaking with you again sometime soon. Uh, I was speaking today with Claudia Tornquist, who is the president and CEO of Kodiak Copper. And you can uh, trade on the symbol KDK on the TSX Venture Exchange. Thanks for your time, Claudia. Thank you.